going to talk about processing images with using WebAL API. As you may know, you can load images to a canvas element, and uh, then you can get the image information use get image data method, um, which will give you an array with RGBA information of each pixel. So you have this big array. You can split it uh, on different colors. So uh, here's red, green, and blue information of the first line of the image. And here you have the, uh, the same for the line number, uh, number 200 of the image. So, but uh, WebAuge API is another topic that we can, you know, maybe know that you can uh, manipulate audio in your browser. You can grab information from your mic microphone, from your uh, from an audio file. But here we are using uh, arrays to produce sound. Uh, and you can basically manipulate, grab a scene with 150 hertz, and you can make it sound. Annoying sound, another way to be annoying on web. And then you can multiply this same scene for uh, a decreasing exponential. And uh, you can do the same for a random value. And now you can play drums if you want. But uh, the cool thing is like to use arrays to produce sounds. And uh, we have filters on WebAuge API uh, that are built in. We have, uh, this is the original sound wave of um, music, can, I can remember. Uh, but uh, here the orange uh, is the original and the blue is the result of the filter. So it, the low pass filter will um, soften the signal. And the high pass filter will remove the, the low frequencies. We in, will give you basically the transitions from, uh, the abrupt transitions from low values to high values and vice versa. Then, if you remember this point of the, of the image and you have the different signs, you can do something like that to grab the red color and to pass through uh, a filter. Basically, you will use the color as a sound and you can pass it through the filter and uh, you have the white sign, uh, basically the, the red one, but soften. And when you grab the, all the colors and pass through different filters and put all together, we will basically blur the image because it will soften all the, the pixels. And uh, when you do the same with high pass, you are removing the low frequencies. You get only the, the abrupt changes from low values to high values. And when you apply this to the different arrays, you have just the boundaries of the image. So you like applying, uh, just getting the, the boundaries and in, uh, in, in removing the brightness. So uh, this can be very strange. I don't know if you should do this in production, probably not. But uh, this is curious to know how arrays can, uh, how filters can be applied to arrays and which will work of any kind of array. So maybe, I don't know, to filter big data or something like that. Uh, but I hope to be uh, something curious for it, uh, at least. Uh, that's it. Thank you.